<clears throat> Squad! Before we open this ranking of the Fire Force Companies, please do me a favor and leave your own thoughts on the Fire Force Companies and rank them in the comment section down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, make sure you hit that little notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Now, let's get into it. What's up, guys? I'm Alan Pencil here, and here we are to rank the special Fire Force Companies, aka the different eight squads within the Fire Force. And once again, I just kind of like this Google format. You know, he got me smacking, got me smacking on the low key. And, um, we're we going to be starting with the uh, the lowest one, aka the um the snake faction, aka the not real faction, aka the no one likes this faction. I mean, like, if, if y'all really rock with this man, do you. If y'all rocking with Dr. Giovanni, especially after what he did in the manga, I mean, do you. I'm not, I'm not here to judge. I like snakes, too. Like, your boy's a huge fan of Aaron. So I'm fine with snakes, too. I, but <laughs> something about the way the way that uh fire force company three sort of doesn't even exist like it really legit though it don't even actually exist it's just this man and like this dude right here and i don't even remember this man so <laughs> that's the thing there's nothing there's nothing here and while dr giovanni is not enough of me like talking about snakes and bugs and stuff while he is decent enough of a character because, like, he does have his own reasonings for doing stuff in the Cataclysm and how he's probably, like, an ancient being from another world, given new form, and every time he possesses something, he becomes something different. Like, it's cool in concept, but on its own, he alone can't backpack his entire company that really doesn't exist. I legit, like, when I say I don't even remember this dude, I don't even remember this dude. And I don't even know who that is. So, the thing is, he's just, it's just, like, a fake. It's a fake Fire Force company for the white clad, or the people of a dollar like that's all it is there's nothing else there that supplements this company which kind of sucks because like almost every other company has at least a little bit more to be fair not much more but a little bit more so yes fire force company three they don't do anything like the best they do is get washed by Shinra in the game like that's that's it all i remember is dr giovanni taking a fat l like three times let's see first time against shinra second time against Lisa, is it Lisa? Hold on, is it Lisa? Yes. Hold on, nope. See, now, now I gotta get the Google out. I gotta get the Google out. Is what I would say if I didn't have the wiki open right now. Um, where is it? Like for some reason, my brain is struggling so hard remembering the name. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, Lisa. I don't know why. <laughs> Slow, but yeah. Look at look at look at look at this cast, bro. Look at this cast, Giovanni. Flail, imposter fire soldier, mirage, imposter fire soldier. It's like they're all fake. It's all a lie. That's about it. So yeah, they don't really get much points for me. But moving on to number seven, it's number two. Like this guy's funny, and I think his whole like him and what's his face. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm being a real menace right now. I don't even I don't even remember his name because like he's mainly a joke character to me. Takeru, I'm pretty sure it's Takeru. We can help me out here. We can help me out here. Yeah, 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 it's a character. Like, they're both fine characters, but they're both mostly gag characters. That's the thing. Like, even Taguchi, who, if he's remember, if I'm remembering who Taguchi is, yeah, I don't even remember this man. So, these two are really just meme men. And that's fine. Like, you can have your joke faction, which is essentially what Fire Force Company 2 is to me. Like, the joke faction. There are other joke factions, and there are jokes within the other series factions. But, yeah, there's just nothing that they do. But even but they do a little bit more because at least they're memorable. Like I remember Takeru and Honda. Honda because my man has the whole forehead cannon. Well, no, bald head cannon where he launches himself out of a cannon and destroys Infernals. Legendary. And of course Takeru has his own little arc in the um Bro, Underworld Invasion arc. Like he has that moment where he defeats Orochi, which is fine. But outside of that. Like, that's just enough to put them above these guys. Two of which I don't even remember. And one who I think is, like, a, a not interesting bad character. So, well, no, he's interesting. Whatever. We'll go into him more in depth later. But, yeah, I don't know. There isn't, there isn't much here. There isn't much here for me to, like, latch on to. So, they're definitely, they have to catch this easy, free, free number seven. But speaking of free low numbers, I mean, like, I, it's pretty ironic that the six is number six, but... Yeah, it'd be like that when it'd be like that sometimes. Like, to be fair, she interests me because of her ability. Like, the ability to heal people through, like, a fire snake. Like, what the heck? And they're overall, like, the healing faction. They're, less, they're much less, like, 
fighters and much more like the information gatherers slash the healers. And that's cool. I don't mind that. And I think the main reason they get backpacked higher than the others is because of like what they were able to discover about Shinra. And well, they're just overhaul more interesting factor to me. And like, to be fair, if I was being unbiased, they have even less screen time than Fire Force Company 2. So I should put them higher, but I don't find the meme men as interesting as, as this group. Because there's so much history, like they even tie, like this is um the fourth, yeah, this is the fourth company's granddaughter. Like they have a lot of interesting roots when tying into other special companies, which makes them more interesting to me at least. Like I find that way more interesting than anything that Fire Force Company 2 has to offer. And I know it's kind of sad, but it'd be like that when it'd be like that sometimes. So yeah, they're definitely going to have to cop this easy number six but once again i don't have much to say about them because we got we get so little of these lower and i know we get a decent amount to keru but he's he, he's i i don't know i always found him strange and not in like the funny kind of strange just weird so moving on to number five i gotta find a better image than this bro i gotta find him like bro look at conehead right here bro don't don't get on me yo what what yo the army of i can't even can i say that word on you i'm not gonna say that word on youtube just in case i get oh my god look at this man all right so thing is Hibana absolutely backpacks this entire <laughs> company because I because this is, oh, the only thing I remember about this dude is that he's he's just weird. That's all I remember about him. All these guys are just you know you know what they're here for, and you know these you know these three are whoa you know what these three are here for. So like none of them none of them are actually interesting. They're just they're just like another group of meme men. But Hibana through her development through her interactions with the Fire Force Company Eight through her character interactions through her history within the world and how she's so integral to finding out more parts about the world. All that backpacks the rest. That's it. Like the, she, in my opinion, does more than these bottom three combined. Like one, two, three. Hibana does more than all of, and then like has some room to spare. So she honestly does a lot of good on her own. Which is impressive. She literally backpacks a whole company. That's real good. That's real good. Do I like what she did to Iris early series? No. <laughs> no. That was weird. That was strange. But uh, but it's shown that it's because of the trauma. It be, the trauma do that sometimes. It'd be like that when it'd be like that sometimes. So I'll let Hibana slide this time. But speaking of sliding, we're going to slide right into number four. I mean, that's actually really coincidental. The fourth, four, like six and six. Yo, I'm, I'm really being a menace right now. But essentially, I actually really do like the fourth company. I like Ogun, obviously. My boy, his power is very interesting. And I love his fight with Karen, even though he ends up getting body bagged. Poor man. Poor man. But I actually do, once he stops using his gimmick and actually speaks a little bit, I do like him. He's fine. He's fine. Like, that's the thing. He is doing just good enough. Like, this entire... This entire faction does just good enough for me to be like, I'll let slide. And I really like the captain. Like him being a masochist, it's like kind of weird. Okay, more than kind of. It's just weird. But in terms of that, I'll let it slide though. Because he's just cool with it. Like the way he fights a possessed Shinra and is like, don't worry, I've got this. It just keeps taking damage. <laughs> he even, I'm pretty sure he even asked the buffer to remove the buff so he's like wait no i need to feel this pain even more to grow even strong and it's not even to grow even stronger he's not a saiyan he's legit just a freak i find that hilarious i don't remember this dude he was just like a petty rival to shinra but every petty rival he gets bonus points in my books really solid i actually do like the fourth faction even though like outside of ogun and even this dude after a bit he becomes less of a mean man like this dude's a whole joke but he's a funny joke and this dude's once again a whole joke but even then he has his own little moment so yeah they, they in combination just barely surpass Ibana. like if you remove one of these four then they're dropping but even that this is company is even special to shinra because this is a company that he trained with and trained at so yeah this is a very important group i actually do really like them super solid we're gonna i'm definitely gonna go more in depth to all the specific companies i actually do want to talk about and their individual characters when i can because right now i just don't want to like go into how much i like agua and stuff like that because that's for their old videos you know we go talk about these characters more in depth but speaking of talking about these characters more in depth y'all gonna get mad at me i can sense it. i can already sense it i can already sense it y'all gonna get mad at me y'all already know what number two is okay so the independence of fire force company seven asakusa is really really cool well, asakusa only has two really really strong characters literally and figuratively that's benny maru and konra and to be fair like that's a, that should be enough to backpack them to number one right now so this thing is they're really cool when they're on screen. But half the time I forget them. <laughs> because due to them being so independent, they really have no ties into the rest. 
as a company at least like to be fair betty morrow is going much higher when i talk about him individually as his own character but i'm rating the companies as a whole that's why hibana doesn't get any higher reasonably hibana would be higher if we were just talking about her as the character but since i got to weigh the whole company like despite a whole bunch of faceless no ma no names being fantastic personalities and having an overall hilarious like tie in with benny morrow and stuff like that of benny morrow and conroe carry and really it's just benny morrow so i i have to give him number seven but we're gonna we're definitely gonna talk about F special fire i think number seven i think of number three but we're definitely gonna talk about company seven more in depth in their own little thing because they deserve it and do are these two part of the company are hina is is hina and um what's her name part of the company i'm not sure i know they fight but i'm not sure if they're actually part of the company but regardless super cool characters obviously really cool they, they have one of the best arcs in the series so we're definitely gonna go into them later but speaking of some of the best arcs in the series yo i love the first company the first company's heat mainly because of burns and you and you and you and you and i don't know why i'm blanking on all their names right now but essentially they're just all the way they tie into the world like they took like through him they took the aspects of fire company three but actually like gave him prevalence like they, these characters all have great moments they burns has the fight with shinra these two have their fight like I, too much i i don't want to spoil my thoughts like i'm already spoiling the narrative but i don't want to spoil my thoughts and stuff so i will hold back it, it's one of the most populated companies in terms of characters it's one of the most important companies in the entire world really considering how much they tie into like the holy soul religion and stuff like that like there's so much stuff in here that i don't want to go too in depth so i won't go too in depth we're done we're going to talk about it later and obviously see so yeah, i'm kind of like speed running it now because I'm, I'm realizing i want to talk about all these characters more individually and what the companies did on their own but y'all know fire force company 8 had to take number one it has the captain and shinra like it has our main character right you know you know who gets the most screen time this dude right here and oh, it has arthur it has victor bro it has whoa it just has so many different characters like i can't not put this group at number one despite how much i believe this one drags them down the rest carry the rest backpack even iris i'm shocked i really thought i wasn't gonna like iris but the thing is all these characters backpack and that's it that's my ricky because i'm being mean and obviously this company has like the most fights I'm pretty sure every single character here, even like Iris, I mean, technically she wasn't involved in the fight, but she fought. Like, even the sister fought. You know what it'd be like? You know it'd be really solid when even the character who's not supposed to fight gets into a fight. Obviously, great, fantastic company. They do so much for the narrative. They're literally the secret company that investigates all other companies. Really, really cool. Really, really solid. Great overall. But that's my ranking. What is your ranking? I do want to hear it because... I don't, I know some of y'all going to be mad at me for putting Fire Force Company 7 and 3 and not 1, but we'll see about that. Please tell me your own ranking in the comment section down below, and thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is That Guy with the Pencil, riding off.